Okay, with conditional probability, we're looking at the probability of an event happening given another event has already occurred. Um, we're gonna look at the second dot point here for our notation for conditional probability. Now this is the notation for conditional probability here and here. So this one is read the probability of A given B. So what it means is what's the probability of event A occurring given that event B has already occurred, okay? And likewise, this is the probability of B given A. Now, when we're working out conditional probability, um, the number on our numerator will just be the number inside the intersection, okay? So remember this is the notation for the intersection of our Venn diagram over the number occurring that appears last in that um, bracket. So given that event, that number is at the bottom of our denominator, okay? So let's look at some examples here. Here's a Venn diagram with events A and event B. It says find the probability um, that um, event A will occur. So for A, what's the probability that event A will occur? Okay, it is in total five over three plus two plus four, nine. For uh, question B, it says what is the probability of events A and B occurring? So here we're looking in the intersection. All right, so that value is two over again, nine. Now we're looking at conditional probability. So what is the probability of event A happening given event B has already occurred? Or what is the probability of A given B? So for C, we're looking at the probability of A given B. Now remember, the value at the top of our fraction is the number inside the intersection, which in this case is two. The number on the denominator is not nine in this case, okay? It is the number for event B in total. So I'm gonna add the two values here, four and two, because they are both showing me totals for event B. So it's two over six, or I can simplify that to one over three. The question D, it's just the opposite question. What is the probability of event B given A? Okay, so again, our top value will be the value inside the intersection, which is two, and the bottom value will be the number inside event A, okay? Or both of those numbers. So two and three added together, which gives us five. So the probability of B given A is two over five. That's pretty much it for um, conditional probability. It is pretty straightforward once you understand that set notation.